Um, so, let's start. What is up, people? Welcome to another podcast, episode two. We're about social media. We're going to speak about social media. Faisal had some nice questions about my career. And yeah, let's hear you out. Exactly, guys. Also, hello from my side. I mean, as you probably realized yesterday, we uh, don't uh, script uh, those talks. It's more a free flow. And uh, I actually prepared some nice questions yesterday already. But uh, thanks uh, to your amazing questions, Diane. Uh, we had a bigger focus on me and let's try to make this uh, focus today on your personality and your person and especially your vision. What do you think about that? I'm going to be, I don't know. I, I just need to hear the question. No worries, no worries. <laughs> take a, you know, lean back, chill out. And um, yeah. So basically, Diane, we don't need um, to introduce you Uh, heavily obviously this is your channel uh, you talked uh, about your full story already um what is actually exciting is now to to speak about the future and what is your big picture and your goal what is the big idea um, with your brand obviously you smashed everything you are the uh, jump rope guy and i could continue talking about this uh, thing more and more and more but let's hear from you what is the goal well to tell you about my vision i need to go back a bit uh in the past because i actually started all this social media thing because i've always dreamed to have a brand by myself right actually the main goal was to get viral with with jump rope because that was a specific niche uh not yet seen in the uh in the world right and to create a brand by myself which is which would have been a clothing brand right so This was this was the main goal definitely. Uh, when I when I started going viral, I created the Swiss Kip, which is my own brand right now with the jump ropes and everything. And um, creating a clothing brand would be like changing the niche complete, which would be completely dumb. Um, I thought of it many many times, and I and I said to myself that. That won't happen many, many times once again. Um, just because I've been doing this for four years now. And to be honest, there are always going to be like down times where you don't feel, oh, that's enough. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. But actually, this took so such a big part of my life that I cannot live anymore. I cannot live anymore without a, without jump rope, right? So this is actually interesting. You wanted to have your own brand. Uh, you just mentioned you wanted to have a clothing brand and then kind of uh, found out about... Uh, skipping about a jump rope but why jump rope and not clothing or something else well because uh, i always like jump rope actually i i haven't been that good of course but uh since i was a kid i, I was always a fan of jump rope because i was a fan of boxing i don't know uh with jump every boxer does jump rope it could give you a nice coordination and of course fast hands fast feet whatever right and i was just such a big fan of it right and i decided because um, I was seeing people on social media after that that they were going like with viral videos and I thought that there was a hole probably for me that I can I can be better just like I I have a very competitive mind mm. uh, mind and mindset that and I like to compete right and that's why I thought oh I I could probably do better videos or whatever okay um, now You achieved what you wanted. You just said that you are a very competitive guy. So I guess you wanted to be the best when you yeah. started out, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, undoubtedly, you are the best just from the numbers or who else? Tell well, me. I mean, we don't <laughs> want to name drop someone, but is there anyone close to your follower account or like to your skill set in jumping rope? Yeah, well, to my follower account, uh, Lauren is actually the closest, which she, she has also more presence on YouTube, Lauren.jumps. Um, but when it comes to overall following, I'm the biggest. When it comes to jump rope skills, I'm none, none of uh, there. Like they're like guys like this high level. Really? And I'm yeah. somehow somehow over here, right? Interesting. Yeah, huh? just just the thing is, uh, the whole composition of my videos, the flashy style, the six pack and everything, it's, uh, there is a, there's a strategy behind that. It's not just like, oh, I thought I'm going to take There are some shit. viral components. Yeah, of course, of course. So that makes the flashiness and the whole video 
goes viral because the whole po composition is together. I speak a lot of it on uh, my platform, Go Viral, uh, and I teach it how to go viral, right? When you pick up all the pieces, uh, relatabil relatability, um, emotions, storytelling, and the video, and it's gonna go viral. So it's just the strategy behind that to get this flashiness into views to, uh, mm -hmm. so the views can explore right yeah i mean it's, it's really really impressive and i don't just say that because i'm your friend or just because the camera is running right now it's really impressive how um much knowledge you have actually in this craft of creating content and how to go viral and all this stuff and basically um yeah i don't want to pitch now our go viral product but check it out it's on school go viral a uh, good community uh, where you actually teach once a week other people how yeah. they can do what you did um but let's l let's leave that um obviously you've done your part we want to talk yeah. about uh, you um you are viral now you are the most viral person in your niche what's next now obviously i know what's kind of next because we chill out and we hang out <laughs> but i'm pretty sure it's interesting for the viewers as well um what's gonna happen now after you are on the top uh, concern like in, in virality and in views as simple as as i can say it um i'm about to make swiss keep the biggest jump pro brand i'm i want to make a movement of jump pro right so i already made a movement with my profile which is the most followed jump pro account in the world right and now i really want to make a movement in jump pro but i want everybody every house to have one jump pro which is swiss keep at home i want everybody to try it at least once because that's the most awesome thing and most awesome cardio most awesome sport in the world really mm -hmm. let's imagine uh, i'm a guy or a person sitting on the couch um i have no time maybe i have a couple of kids and i scroll and i'm like oh yeah that looks cool and everything um why should i jump rope can you repeat the question you were a, what kind of person you are <laughs> i, I mean a i'm a let's say um normal guy sitting on the couch working from nine to five coming home scrolling seeing your videos here and there and now i hear your vision you want that every household in the world has a rope to jump with but why should i why should i because it, it gives you the feeling it gives you the energy that it gives you the feel good emotions when you start doing it right and uh there is this not really competitive between running and uh, and jump rope uh probably but like most of the people, like 90% of the people hate running. I actually like running. I don't hate running. And I think it's also an awesome cardio. But I think jump rope is superior to running because, first of all, you don't need to run uh, 20 minutes in a row without stopping, which sounds extremely tiring when you hear, like, oh, I'm going to go running for 20 minutes. And when somebody uh, hear it that never has never done sport before, 20 minutes running, <laughs> that's crazy. And the difference between uh, jump rope is that you can do sets, like five sets um, per one minute and still get that kind of cardio where you burn calories and you feel good. Apart from that, when you're running, you only run. You can run faster, of course, but you run, right? When you're doing, when you're doing, uh, when you're doing jump rope, there are so many skills that you can learn. True. And, there, and this is the, uh, this is this satisfaction that your ba you, that your brain gets when you get when you learn something new when you get to doing the cross when you get doing the when you do the double under you just feel like wow amazing I can do that yeah, and yeah, and, safe, safe, and yeah. interprets I and agree. it goes also to um, other parts of your of your career then you think oh I I learned this and I'm I'm gonna do that and I'm, mm. uh, and I'm gonna do that right so I, that's why I think uh, just jump rope is superior to every car you mm. when it comes to whatever car you rowing or uh, I don't know. Just jump rope is over here. So, so where can I buy a rope now? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Obviously, uh, SwissHip.ch, uh, but uh, no. Um, all right. You sold me now on why rope. Um, you said you want to make SwissHip the biggest um, jump rope or like rope brand in the world. How? So first of all, there I don't want to I don't want to tell my secrets. Secrets of tell course. all the secrets, <laughs> every step by step plan, so we can copy you. But as I said, now jump rope is more than just a cardio, right? It's it's the way of life, or how in my way, well, in my. It sounds cheesy, say, but yeah. obviously it changed your life. It started yeah. as a hobby and changed, changed your my life. life. Yeah. <laughs> this is Swiss Kip, yeah. So base, um, so uh, basically, there is jump rope is seen until now as a fitness tool, right? And it can be so much more than that. It can be also 
Bruce Viskip, I I've decided I'm gonna also create my a bit of my clothing brand. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna put it also on Swisscape. I'm gonna bring the fun. I'm gonna bring the energy to jump rope, which which is also a bit of style to jump rope, right? So you can see you can probably see it from my videos. It's not only cardio, guys. It's really the way of life jump rope. So I'm just gonna say only that. I'm gonna bring the fun and I'm gonna bring the style for Swisscape to jump rope, and yeah. Just subscribe and you're gonna see. Interesting, interesting. Um, I mean, jumping rope, you said it's a cardio thing, but obviously you mentioned uh, your six pack, obviously people see you on the videos, you're a fit guy. Um, what is like fitness or generally strength training? What, what kind of part does it play in your life? Well, it's um, To get six pack to look like that, you definitely need to do strength training, there, right? So I mainly do push ups and pull ups, more like street workout and calisthenics. Um, so jump rope is, I probably do more jump rope than uh, than than lifting, right? But to gain muscle, to build your body like this, you need to you need to lift, you need to you need to do something. It doesn't happen only for uh, through jump rope, right? Because jump rope is uh, basic to say it, it's a cardio. Right, it's a cardio. So you burn calories, you can lose weight, you can tone your body definitely. You can get a six pack, right? But um, I don't train abs actually. I don't really train abs. Um, you can get a six pack, but when you get when you got when you want bigger shoulders, when you got when you want bigger biceps, you can't do that with jump rope. Probably bigger shoulders you can do that if you get the heavy jump rope. But but biceps, triceps, chest, and everything, you need to do strength training. It's not it's impossible just to do it with uh, yeah. jump rope. But um, as we did the workout earlier, you saw we 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 make a we make a compatible jump rope with 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 calisthenics like one minute of jump rope and directly for 20 push ups and that's the yeah most yeah awesome part. I, I mean honestly guys uh, this uh, workout uh, in the noon 18 minutes or something 18 minutes yeah. 18 minutes some circles through four exercises yeah um man I mean it makes completely sense it's not this or that not yeah. jump rope or strength I mean yeah. it's complementary yeah I think is the right word. Um, and yeah, Nate, awesome. So yeah, we, we talked about your beginning stuff, uh, how you went viral and how you became the jump rope guy kind of. N now we talked about you want to make Swisscape the biggest brand with uh, maybe also some clothing collection. Um, we talked about the strength uh, theme or the strength topic. Um, if we go back now to the content creation, this is kind of what made you big, what made your hobby became your life. What part of your life will content creation continue to be from now on well if i if i can do content creation i would definitely not have the vision for swisscape and how i can do the marketing right okay so uh i would say like jump rope is more like 30 percent and content creation will always be 70 percent of my success right mm. so interesting jump rope is the basics right the the talent that i got the um, through hard work of course um And without content creation, even if you have, even if you're the best in something, even if you, even if you're the greatest, if you cannot present yourself, it's impossible, right? Word. You need to, you need to be able, you need to be able to know how to film yourself. You need to be able how to create cool videos because um, if you cannot do that, if you just, if you just put a whack lightning, a dark, dark lightning, bad quality, and everything, nobody will watch your videos, right? Mm. So that's these are the whole missing pieces that I was speaking. Um, two minutes ago right yeah just because there is um there is content creating there is uh high quality there is uh there is composition of the video there is storytelling and everything so all these things comes um uh comes in uh in these pieces to go to create a viral video right and talent or hard work or something that you can show mm. is one piece of content creation right so yeah i think the content creators nowadays they don't get uh, the appre appreciation they deserve for what they are doing right well, that's definitely underestimated yeah 100%. Yeah, well i mean it's insane obviously i'm also like a digital online guy yeah. but in our agency we do like more ads and to be honest most of my content creation knowledge i got from you now yeah. and as you said obviously jumping rope is your talent and your skill but the main th skill what made you that successful was actually content creation yeah and 100%. Uh, insane how hard it is maybe you can um tell let's imagine there's like this young kid watching your um this podcast now and he wants to be like you wants to get followers um 
do you have like a step by step plan how to actually yeah get known create reach get viral yeah definitely you know the go viral is cool uh we don't need to speak that much about it but we're gonna put the link over down down there about go viral how to go viral i teach everything about content creation so you can check it out later uh, all right guys you heard it yourself if you want to learn how to go viral check out the community link is in the description thank you for watching the next part don't forget to click the subscription button we got some super cool stuff coming in the coming in the next days so um we're gonna also schedule a proper time when we're gonna upload videos so you're gonna know as usual on my instagram it's it's 3 10 p.m central eastern european time but we're gonna do it also for youtube very very soon so stay tuned bye bye